Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to have some fun because we are going to be recreating the Hailey Bieber date night makeup tutorial from Vogue. Now I'm a little bit late to the party because this was posted like two months ago, but I watched it recently and as soon as I watched it, I immediately knew that I needed to recreate it. Then I had an idea. And I thought to myself, what if I tried to recreate this look using drugstore alternatives? And so I went onto Instagram and I asked you guys what you wanted to see, if I should use the original products that were used in the video, or if I should use the drugstore alternatives to those products. And the poll was basically 50-50. And so that meant one thing, I'm doing both. <laughs> I'm going to be splitting my face down the middle. On one side, I'm going to be using the products that Haley actually uses. And then on the other side, I'm going to try to dupe them and we are going to see if I can get a similar look. I also have some road skincare here, which I'm gonna be trying out for the first time for this video as well. I tried to get my hands on this, um, but I went on the website and silly me did not realize that of course everything would be out of stock. And not only that, but I'm pretty sure they do not ship to Canada, but a friend of mine got these products in PR and so she was gracious enough to lend them to me for the videos so thank you Kara for helping me make this video happen I would love to hear from you guys what you think in the comments on the look that I'm gonna be creating today and what products you feel maybe looked better or performed better so let's just jump right into it so the first thing that Haley puts on her face is actually a toner but I'm just gonna skip that stuff and go straight to the moisturizing routine that she has using her road products. So she starts off first by putting on her glazing fluid. So this is called the peptide glazing fluid. It's supposed to be a very lightweight gel-like serum that adds a lot of hydration to the skin. And there are peptides in here, which is really good for plumping and for anti-aging. So let's put it on. I'm gonna take two pumps. The texture is really unique. As soon as you start to rub it into your skin, it gets very watery feeling. So it doesn't feel like a gel. It doesn't really even feel like a serum. It feels literally like you're putting water on your face, but it seems like it's giving me a nice cushiony layer to my skin. Like I said, obviously this is just my first impression for the product. So I'm not gonna be able to give you guys like a long-term review on them. So I'm mostly going to be looking at how this does perform underneath makeup. But then she goes in with her Barrier Restore Cream. And this is a rich moisturizer. So I'm gonna just take about that much and just layer that on top of the serum this is definitely a richer somewhat like thicker formula but my dry skin does definitely appreciate that all right well the combination of those two products definitely gave me a very very hydrated base and my skin is looking really nice and prepped so we are not done with the road skincare yet Haley then takes her peptide glazing fluid and she puts one pump of it underneath her eyes so I'm going to do the same I feel very hydrated right now. I normally don't take my serums all the way underneath my eyes just because I'm always scared they're gonna make me break out. So I'm really hoping this is not gonna make me break out. And after she applies the serum, she goes in with the Dew Eye Masks. Now I did try to get my hands on those for this video, but unfortunately they do not ship to Canada, which is so annoying. So I am going to have to skip that step. Um, I'm dying to try those eye masks though because they just seem to be all the rage. I mean, even Hailey Bieber loves them. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you feel like those are worth the hype or not. So skin prep is pretty much done. Now she moves on to the makeup. So for the foundation, this is going to be the only product that I'm going to use only one of for my entire face, just because I want to give my entire face the same even playing ground. Plus the foundation that Haley uses is a foundation that I've never tried before. So I also wanted this to be kind of like a first impression. So she uses the Chanel Vita Lumiere Radiant Moisture Rich Fluid Foundation. I'm actually kind of shocked that I've never tried this foundation because it really does sound like a foundation that I would really enjoy. It's supposed to be a very hydrating and glowy foundation. I mean, it seems like Haley has dry skin because she really does focus a lot of her prep on hydration and it seems like her base product is also very hydrating as well. So we're the same in that way. Now we are not done with the road skincare yet because she does take more of the glazing fluid and she actually mixes it in with the foundation. So there is a lot, a lot of hydration going on on the face and she puts it in her hand too, which is why I'm doing the same. And I'm using the shade number 30 and then she takes one pump of the serum. There is so much of the serum on my face right now. And she mixes it together and then she applies it with her fingers basically like a moisturizer. I do personally really enjoy mixing skincare in with my foundation, but it does make me a little bit nervous sometimes because sometimes some moisturizers can um, break up your foundation if it's not the right 
combination, but if Haley uses this combination and it works for her, then I'm not too worried that it is going to break up on my face, but we'll see. When you do mix skincare in with foundation, it does kind of lessen the coverage just a little bit, and it will also make it really melt into the skin. Haley mentions that the reason why she applies her foundation with her hands is because she witnessed Pat McGrath do it backstage at fashion shows. Um, and she just really likes more of a natural finish with the foundation and she feels that she gets more of that natural finish when applied this way, which I definitely would have to agree when you do apply foundation with your fingers, you're really like working it into the skin. Whereas with a foundation brush, it tends to kind of sit on top of the skin a little bit more. I don't love how I have a handful of foundation though. <laughs> so we're just gonna wipe that off. It's kind of gross. So this definitely gave me a very natural looking finish. Um, I'm actually surprised with how my skin is looking right now, I would have expected my skin to be even more like intensely glowy and kind of wet looking considering how much skincare I have on my face right now, especially this glazing fluid, but it seems to be looking pretty controlled, which I like, and my face also doesn't feel sticky. So, so far so good. Okay, so this is when things get interesting because now we're going to split my face down the middle. So on the left side of my face, I'm gonna put the makeup that Haley uses slash the high-end makeup, and then on the right side, I'm going to use the drugstore alternative. So for concealer, Haley used the Kosas Revealer Concealer. This is also one of my personal favorite concealers. She mentioned that she really likes this one because it's hydrating and gives a nice glow underneath the eyes, which is exactly why I like this. I'm actually going to redo that application because that's not how she applied it. So Haley applied concealer on the inner corner of the eye and then she put like three dots on the outer corner. And then she also added a little bit on the side of her nose above her brow and on her chin. These are basically the exact areas that I also like to apply my concealer. Then she blends it out with a sponge. So for the drugstore side, I'm gonna be going with the Rimmel Match Perfection. I feel like this is a very underrated concealer from the drugstore. The reason why I chose this one as like the comparable product is because it's also a very hydrating and dewy concealer. So I'm gonna be using the shade 230 Fair. And just for reference, the Kosas concealer that I use is 3.2. And so I'm gonna do the same application. The color is not exact. So it's not gonna be a perfect color match, but that's okay. I would actually say this matches me better. Honestly, both sides really look very similar to me. They both have this very nice skincare-like finish. We're not done with the concealer yet. She keeps on adding steps that I just don't expect. Um, she takes her concealer and she drags it from the corner of her mouth outwards. This is something that I don't normally do. So this is really just gonna help in kind of like lifting the face a little bit. So then she goes in with her bronzer and Haley uses the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate palette, which is a cream bronzer and highlighter palette. And I actually think this is the exact brush that she's using as well. This is the Spectrum and Katie Jane Hughes 01 brush. So I'm kind of excited that I have the same brush as her. So the way that she contours and bronzes her face, she mentions that she doesn't like put any lines on her face, which is exactly what I do as well. So we're on the same page there. And she just gently taps the product on to bronze and sculpt. I've had this in my collection for a really long time and it is definitely a really nice cream bronzer. There are other cream bronzers out there that I do kind of prefer, especially because this is such a pricey product, but I can understand why Haley would go for a product like this. It is a very sheer bronzer and it's very buildable. So it's going to look very skin-like and it seems like she really wants a very natural look. So I understand why She's a big fan of this product because this definitely gives it to you. She also puts some of the bronzer across the bridge of her nose right about here. So I'm gonna do the same. For the drugstore side, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. In formula, they're definitely not similar at all, honestly. Um, the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer has much more of like a matte finish, but, but I find that the way that they appear on the skin is actually pretty similar because the putty bronzer is also a very buildable product and it allows you to see your skin underneath. You see it applies very, very sheerly and I'm just very slowly building it up. The Tom Ford does have a little bit more of a glow. I actually kind of like the fact that this isn't as glowy as the Tom Ford one because there's so much glow going on in the face. It's nice to have a balance of more matte products so that your face isn't just like completely over the top glowy and throughout the day, it's just going to give you a better lasting result as well. This is the e.l.f. side. This is the Tom Ford side. What do you guys think? 
Do you notice a huge difference? So the next product that Haley uses is a liquid eyeshadow on her eyes. And this is another product that unfortunately I'm unable to get in Canada. It's from REM Beauty, which is Ariana Grande's line. And it's only sold at Ulta, which do not ship to Canada. So I had to find an alternative product for this side of my face. Haley just describes that she enjoys wearing um, kind of like matte pinky and purpley tones to make her hazel eyes pop. And it looks like the color that she's using is like a mid-tone dusty pink. So I just tried to find one that was similar in my own collection. And so this is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Shadow in the shade Rose. And I feel like this is actually a very good match to what she has on her lids. It's like the exact type of color. So I'm just gonna apply this with my fingers all over my lid. I just put that on the wrong side. <laughs> so I'm gonna take that off. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. I love these Smashbox Always On liquid shadows. They are very, very long lasting and they're very versatile. You can use them on their own. You can use them as a base. So I'm very happy to be using one of these today. Yeah, that looks pretty much identical to what she has on her lid, so that works. On the drugstore side, we have the Maybelline Wonder Cloud All Day Wear Soft Shadow in the shade Spiced Petal, which is a dusty pink. It's actually a perfect dupe for the color that I just put on on the other side. It's maybe a little bit peachier, but it's very, very, very similar. Then she goes in with a powder eyeshadow from the Kylie Cosmetics Stormy Palette, which she says herself is not available anymore. So unfortunately I cannot use that either. However, she basically just uses like a, a taupey color that has some pink undertones to it. So I'm going to just do the same. It's not like a super unique eyeshadow that you can't find anywhere else. So I'm gonna start off first with the drugstore side. I'm gonna be using this Revolution Ultimate Nudes Medium Shadow Palette and I'm going to take this shade right over here, which looks very, very similar to what she used. And Haley applies this in the crease of her eye and she also puts a little bit of it underneath her lower lash line as well. It kind of matches the eyeshadow on the lid and brings it more all over the eye rather than just on the lid. I'm gonna take a smaller brush now, take the same color and just run it lightly underneath my lower lash line. For the high-end side, again, I had to improvise, so I'm gonna be taking the Huda Beauty Nude Palette, New Nude Palette, and I'm gonna be taking the shade Secret right over here, which again is just a pinky brownie color. Underneath the lash line. Then she goes in with a shimmery shade from Rowan. So I actually bought this palette specifically for this video. It is the Mood Forever palette. And she uses this color right over here, which is actually a really fun little sparkly shade. It's champagne, but it has some blue shimmer in it, which is really fun. And I really love the Rowan eyeshadows. They're super multi-dimensional and they have so much shine to them. They're also kind of like a hybrid between a powder and a cream. So, so they stick really, really well to the lid. And I'm just gonna tap some of this on the lid. I really love this little eye combo. It's so pretty, but it's so simple. And I have a feeling I'm probably gonna be doing the exact same eye look um, a couple days in a row. For the affordable side, I'm actually very excited about this. It's the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in a little quirky. So this is a very, very, very similar eyeshadow. I'm gonna swatch them side by side so you can see. Actually a similar texture as well. Here's ColourPop on top, and then that is Rowan Beauty on the bottom. They are pretty much like the exact same type of color. The ColourPop shade even has the same purple glitter in it. I was very excited about this discovery. The one little difference between the two is the ColourPop shade it does have a little bit more warmth to it. So you may notice that it kind of leans slightly more bronzy, but on the lid, you're not really gonna notice much of a difference. I was just really excited about the fact that they both have like the same type of sheen and they both have that really subtle purple glitter. They're like almost identical. So that was a pretty good find if I say so myself. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna pick it up with my finger and swipe it on this lid. Yeah, and even on the lid, it looks like I'm wearing the same eyeshadow. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That looks the exact same. Come on. Woo! For her brows, she actually just uses eyebrow gel and she uses the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, which I do not have. It's totally okay, a clear brow gel is a clear brow gel. So I'm just gonna be using the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter, which is one of my favorite clear brow gels. And I'm gonna brush my hairs up. 
And then on the other side, I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. Brow Lift Brow Gel, which is also clear. And I'm gonna just apply that with a spoolie. Again, do the same thing and brush all my hairs up. This is, by the way, an incredible clear brow gel if you want your brows to look really, really defined and flat. For the lashes, she curls her lashes with a curler and uses the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash on just her upper lashes. I haven't used this mascara in such a long time and I forgot how lengthening it is. I also need to use this more often. My lashes look very good. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High. Which is actually a, a similar looking wand. If you compare both of the wands, they're both very, very long and have short spikes. The MAC one has like soft bristles, whereas the Maybelline one has plastic bristles. But the Maybelline one will give, hopefully, a similar effect because this is a very lengthy mascara as well. And yep, it's giving me pretty much the exact same effect. My lashes look literally the exact same on both sides. Confirmed dupe over here. This is turning out great. For the cream blush, she uses this Makeup Forever palette that has blushes on one side and foundations on the other. And I tried to get my hands on this as well, but unfortunately it's actually just not made anymore. So instead of using that exact palette, I'm going to use just a similar shade. So I shot my own collection for this one. And the shade that she uses is a very bright fuchsia, which is kind of unexpected, but the, the final result also just looks very natural looking. So I decided to go with this Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Blush Stick in Raspberry. When I first saw this, I was kind of thinking it would be maybe a little bit too bright for the product that she used, but when it's actually blended out onto the skin, it does give a very similar effect and it's not as like neon. So I'm gonna take a blush brush, grab a little bit of the product and just blend it onto the cheeks. And you see like applied on the cheeks, it doesn't look as crazy as it looks in the stick. Seems like she also really loves putting color on the bridge of her nose. That's something that I definitely don't typically do. This gives you a little bit more of like a sun kiss look. For the drugstore side, I'm gonna be using this Milani Cheek Kiss in Blushing Berry. This shade actually looks like it's a closer dupe to what she was using. This is super pigmented by the way, you need the smallest amount. Even comparing both of these side by side, they don't really look like they would be the same. This one looks a lot brighter, but the way that they translate on the cheeks, they look very, very similar. Haley goes in with another blush. She uses the Dior Backstage in Rosy Glow 001 Pink. And this is a very, very, very cool tone, very bright bubblegum pink blush. This was very difficult to find a comparable product for in the drugstore. I basically found nothing that came even close to this. There were a couple different blushes from some brands that were like a really cool tone pink, but there's something about this particular shade that has this like brightness to it that I just wasn't able to get in any drugstore blushes that I was able to find. Let me know though in the comments if you guys have any dupes that you know of. This blush from Quo was probably the closest color that I was able to find. Um, this is the blush in Pink Passion. It's a very, very, very similar color, but the Dior one does have a very subtle glow to it, whereas this one is completely matte. So that is the difference between the two, but let's see how they compare actually on the cheeks. So let's start off first with the Dior one. I'm just gonna layer it on top of the blush I already have. I love this blush combo. Bright and fun, but still very wearable. Okay, now let's try the Quo. Yeah, <laughs> that works. Gives a super similar effect. If you saw me walk on the street, would you be like, oh, she's wearing four different blushes right now? Probably not. They look so similar. That actually worked out swimmingly. I was a little bit concerned about that one. Then she puts on highlighter and she goes back into her Tom Ford palette and uses the Balmy highlighter just to highlight the face. So I will do the same. This is basically just like a clear balmy highlighter. Honestly, like any clear balmy highlighter that you have in your collection can dupe this. I mean, besides texture, textures always change a little bit between products. There's nothing else really to it that makes it super unique. So I'm just gonna apply it where it looks like she applied, which is on the top of the cheekbone, on the brow bone. And then for the drugstore side, I'm going to be using this Burt's Bees Glowing Face Balm, which is another clear 
balmy face balm. Now for the lips, Haley is using a Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. Unfortunately, they don't say exactly the color that she's using. To me, it looks like Anywhere Caffeine, which I love. I love that she's using this. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite lip pencils. It has been for years. It's such a great pencil to use to really like shape and define the lips because it's a very natural looking color. So that is what Anywhere Caffeine looks like swatch. I picked up two different lip liners from the drugstore hoping that they were going to be dupes. So let's test them out together. This is the NYX Line Loud Lip Pencil in the shade Gold Crusher. So similar, it's not as dark, as Anywhere Caffeine, but it's like almost there. Wow. I have another one here. This is L'Oreal and this is the Color Riche Matte in Matting Call. <gasps> you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Oh my God, oh my God. This is the L'Oreal one. This is the Makeup Forever one. They are literally the exact same color. So instead of using half half for the lip liner, let's just use this on the entire lip. You guys have seen me use the Anywhere Caffeine a million times anyway. And I just wanna see what effect this gives me on my entire lip. Oh my God, this is such a good lip liner. You guys need to go out and purchase this one immediately. Okay, Anywhere Caffeine does have a little bit more rosiness to it now that I'm seeing it on the lips. So Haley doesn't apply any type of lipstick. She just goes straight in with her Rode Peptide Lip Treatment. Now I'm just gonna use this on my entire lip just because I'm really curious to see what this is going to look like. I mean, it's essentially just a clear lip balm. It's a very, very thick texture. So if you do want a similar look to this, you really just need to get a super glossy clear lip gloss. As far as a drugstore version of like a really thick, glossy lip treatment, I don't really have one. And then when I was at the drugstore earlier, I was trying to see if I could find something and I didn't really come across anything. Let me know in the comments though, if you guys have a dupe for this product, but just as far as the look of this, it's just a really glossy, clear, juicy looking product. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> That is very juicy looking. I may just have to steal this from Kiara. <laughs> I don't think I'm giving this one back. This is really intense in the best way. And I like that it's thick, so it doesn't really feel like it's gonna go anywhere. It doesn't feel sticky though. And obviously it's a treatment, so it is supposed to be hydrating. I can't tell you if it actually is yet. I will say our lips look very different because she's really letting her natural lip color come through, which is much pinker than my natural lip color. So I feel like my lips look way more brown, whereas hers look more pink, but it's because her lips are just more pigmented and we didn't put any lipstick on underneath. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I could find a lipstick in my collection and I'm gonna make a drugstore to see if we can get that Hailey Bieber pink lip look. I'm just gonna take this off completely and I'm actually gonna try the Anywhere Caffeine liner now. Okay, to get that like pinky look that Haley has, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Color Shine Lipstick in Sparkling Rose. And now let's go back in with her lip treatment. I feel like with that pink underneath, it looks much closer to her end result. The very last step that Haley does is she goes in with the Kosas Cloud Set. More than happy to put this on my face. This is one of my all time favorite powders as most of you probably know. It's a very, very lightweight powder and she also seems to be using it in a very minimal way. And she just sets the shiny areas of her face. So I'm gonna use this on the high end side. Then for the drugstore side, I'm gonna actually use my Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Press Powder. This is a powder from the drugstore that I've loved for a really long time. It gives a very similar effect. A bit of like a stiffer powder, it doesn't give you any powderiness, and it sets the makeup without adding any heaviness. And that is the finished Hailey Bieber look. This is the side that is using mostly all of the products that she used in her video. And then this side are the drugstore comparables. What do you think? I'm actually pretty shook by it. I feel like both sides look exactly the same. <laughs> so the last thing I do before finishing off this look is I'm gonna give myself Hailey Bieber waves and I'm gonna do that by using my Amika hair waver. We definitely do not have a similar haircut. I have bangs and she does not. She is very long face framing 
pieces. I do really like this makeup look though. Um, I do want to mention that my base is looking fantastic and definitely really, really natural looking. I really think that mixing in that Chanel foundation with the glazing fluid was actually a really nice little touch. I really love doing these types of videos for you guys because it just shows you that you do not need to have the absolute exact products to recreate a look that you see somebody else wearing. Probably use what you have in your own collection. You do not need to like go out and purchase something brand new just because that's what they used. You may already have something in your collection that will give you a very similar effect. And this was really the perfect example of that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my bangs with this waiver. Do I wave the bangs too or do I just leave them? I feel like I should probably just leave them because I feel like if I try and crimp them, they're gonna look super weird. It didn't really give me a similar look, but Close enough. It's all about the makeup. <laughs> it's not about the hair. I had so much fun doing this. I hope that you guys got something out of this video and enjoyed it. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments and your thoughts on both sides of my face. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you want to join the fam. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.